Hi, hi, you guys. It's Yvonne. I am at American Classics to do my booth. It is Tuesday the 15th. I think so. Yeah, June the 15th or 16th. <laughs> Anyways, um, my first booth is over there, right? And then here's the little strip. Remember that I added on. She gave up this little strip here in this booth. And so that opened up this aisle, if you remember. They only have like, you know, this strip and this is the aisle. So I've been busy while watching movies the last few days. Filled up a bunch of stuff, six bins plus for D19, my main booth, and then this. Hannah and I worked on this. I started paying rent the first of the month. Hannah and I came in a couple days later and we worked on this. And I've already sold right there were two true vintage lawn chairs those folding web ones they were forty dollars a piece is what i priced them they were right there i paid 5.99 i got a t folding table from the thrift store and that rack pretty cheap i have to keep everything kind of here kind of like four feet so that to be fair to my shared neighbor and uh, so we brought in some lamps. I already sold one lamp. It was so cool. It was the, if you saw me buy it, it was the brass one, the vintage brass one that had the amber coin print globe. So cool. I think I got 40 or so for that. And then hanging here was that international mascot. I'll try to throw up a picture. That international mascot gold mid-century mod candle holder. I'll throw up a picture. This fixture, Hannah and I went to the Ark just to look for like tables and stuff while we had the SUV and this was sitting in the, out next to their dumpster with some torn up couches. I don't know why they didn't roll it in and sell it. So we tore it apart and stuffed it in there <laughs> and brought it here so it was free. It's on rollers and everything. It's been a long time since I bought this. I finally brought it in. I paid like $4.99. This is a really nice crust line vintage box. This is in great shape. No rust or anything. My vintage, possibly antique bar cart. Let me show it and see what you guys think based on the hardware and the thin wheels. This little table you guys saw me buy a while back at New Horizons. And then I put up some art. Just showing you the art. I know that's somewhat contemporary, but it's by Terry Ono. This lady passed away recently. This was a Denver artist that gets pretty good prices for some of her stuff. And then, of course, we have some um, R at to, at to, let me try that again. R. Atkinson. Why can't I say that? Fox. Two of them. An old fashioned garden, and I think this is Love's Paradise, yeah. Not Parish, but um, Fox. This is so cool. Some of you loved this when I bought it. What I found out is the artist is Jean Pressler, and it's um, part of a Pompeii Beauty ad art. That's pretty in the old frames. I can't remember who did this one. Warner Salmon. There we go. That's supposed to be, in his eyes, labeled um, Jesus as a boy. But, and then the American Indian tribes. I'm going to focus on this for a minute so you guys can read some of them. I hope you can under the glass. I'm going to pause for a minute for y'all see what state you live in and what they have attributed Indian tribe heritage to. Okay. Love this Art Deco lamp. Love it. I tape my um, finials just in hopes, right, that nothing goes wrong. So, that's a cute vintage Italian lamp. I think this one was by, yeah, that company there from the 70s. This whole set, you turn the tag over, it's cool, isn't it? Vintage Swartz Brothers, made in USA, melamine bathroom set. I don't 
think these are old. I could not tell. Other people have sold these that I saw, but there's no name and nobody else knew, knew either. So, And I've got a cool rug down there. When you spread it out, that's a mod rug. Red, black, and white. It's really cool. Satiny shag. Super cool and mod. And Hannah and I hung some of those just to make it look good. And I put down a nice carpet. I bought it Ross. Okay, so let me do all this business and then I'll show you around again and we'll look at my other booth and then we'll go shop a little bit, okay? I've got some empty spaces in here and I might pull out a piece of fixture. I might pull that out because it doesn't cross over four, four and a half feet and put it over in F204, <laughs> the other booth. Okay, I'm gonna get busy. I'll talk to you guys when I'm done. I'm back. So, as you can see, they're all empty now. Some stuff I put here, some stuff I put in the other booth, some stuff I just kind of moved around from one booth to another. Doesn't really matter since they're both mine. They do have different numbers, but it's okay. It all goes under um, Smile, which is my vendor name see that up top there <laughs> so I brought another lamp I brought in a jeer replica that's not a real one but it's I think those were made in Taiwan and aren't those pretty what else I brought in another painting oh I just thought that was cute someone took a photograph and framed it and gave it to her friend. It just says 2016 and who she dedicated it to. But that's cute. Right? So. And another afghan. Let's see. A couple of things here and there, you guys. I don't know if you can spot the difference. A few more things down there. Let's run over to the other one. My purse is tied and I'm just going right over here. That little chicken bank is so cute. A Blanco style, that's not real Blanco, Blanco style. And some French Old Paris, I don't know how to say that. Let me just show you the tag. V-I-E-U-X, and I hope I got that right. I feel somewhat confident that I got it right. If not, I'm sure someone will tell me, but I think I'm good. Kind of rearranged jewelry. I wanted to put the Blanco and this Vintage Pier 1 in the case, along with that um, Venetian art glass. Not Murano, but it is Venetian. And I found some cool um, display pieces. So I think you guys have seen some of this cool stuff that I bought when I bought it, right? So <laughs> for now, it's going in here. I bought that for myself and I decided, this is before I found out about Noritake Perspective, so I've switched, so I'm selling my set. This I consider collectible. It's a Super Mario collectible mug. So I think I can get away with that. Those are always moved around. Nobody's bought one yet, but they're always moved around. And this is gorgeous. And I made a bridal display with bridal baskets and whatnot. It is that time of year. Although by now, unless it's a last minute wedding, they should be just about done with everything, right? I hope. I brought in, I sold one at the sale, and here's another one. Um, Lotus Bowl. This one's a little bigger than the one. I think Tiffany, Thrifting Vegas, bought it. But there's another one. The only, it only glows a little bit of cadmium at the bottom. But I have to bring some good stuff in here, too. Let's see. There was something else. Oh, that cute vase you guys saw me get. I sold the last turtle that I brought in. 
did I say vase or terrarium? It was about twice the size and it sold a couple days after I brought it in. So I brought in the second one. The Renaissance Festival Ceramics. The Dorothy Thorpe style bar glasses. Some more Hager. A couple more Hager pieces I brought in there. All right, so we've got a few more minutes. Brought that in. That is, um, it's hard to tell for me if that is Westmoreland or before Atterbury went to Westmoreland. I think because of the quality of it, I think I felt okay putting Atterbury. It's real pretty, real quality. Okay, some miscellaneous little things I like to have some good prices too I'm still working my way up to feeling comfortable putting higher end pieces like it went pretty well over there with the pieces that I brought in that were like 40 50 60 it went pretty well so go ahead Gary <laughs> you could go by they've seen you okay that was the owner wandering around he didn't want to interrupt today so he turned around went the other way all right you guys oh, did I ever show you this cool this these are from France that there are glasses that go with it but I didn't find those but this was made for Hallmark by a company in France it is really fun all right I think we'll we've got about half an hour let's go boogie around a little bit especially check the jewelry lady right Some of you might want to know about this. You only saw it in a reel. Amy loved it, of course, but passed on it for now. It's really awesome. I can't believe someone didn't sign it. That just freaks me out when people don't sign their cool stuff that they make, right? Okay, let's go look around a little bit before they close. If not, I'll go hit a thrift store. This booth near me is always fun. I like to see what she has new. Not a lot of sales, but sometimes you can get something out of here. Her stuff is just cool. I understand why she doesn't worry about sales. She seems to have a good turnover. Is that what I think it is? McCoy. Oh gosh, look at that one. Yep. There's no price on this one, darn. No price on the swan. This one's 65. And then she always has the nice little Vaseline uranium glass, glow glass display. Wow, look at that one. $90. Let's see how much this is. Thirty-five. Okay. Oh, those are fun. Those little good tins are fun. Oh, this looks new. Stationary case. I was surprised at myself. Thank you guys. I did pretty well with the ephemera that I took a chance on to see if I could, um, you know, find stuff that you guys would like and it worked so I've been trying to watch some of the other my friends that sell ephemera that's $50 by the way very cool um, that sell ephemera so I can kind of see what it is that you guys kind of lean toward and like so I think I did okay for my first try I don't know if that's really vintage but that's cute not could be retro but it's not vintage it's just made to look I've never been in here Billy Jean King doll some of you might not know who that is but you should that's really fun thermos new $24.99 and this kind of like cotton candy pinkish or pink sherbet made in Germany Alfie. 
That is cute. That's really cute. I've never come in this booth either. 30% off everything. I like that. $15.99. Look at this little tiny cake keeper. That's sweet. I do pick up recipe boxes and stuff like this when I can find it at the thrift store. And it sells pretty well for me. I don't mean not to show you guys anything up close, but it's nothing. I'm not seeing anything to really pull up on. These people used to have a big booth. It's a lot of wear on that one. I think they almost had three booths. I've been saving up a lot of this stuff in different colors for a loose site sale. I don't know if this is Celebrity or there are a couple other names. So if you guys like that kind of fun stuff, I've been saving it up in pink and clear for a nice loose height and acrylic sale. It's going to be fun. You guys have to kind of fight me over the pieces. A lot of them I end up keeping that I find, but I'm getting some out for you guys too. Wait a minute. Sunshine Mist Toaster, $14.97. I usually don't look at a lot of stuff like that, but I've been watching um, Kate follow that bug vintage that used to work for Jocelyn. And she's all about the kits, right? And for some reason, the places she goes has tons of booths that are full of that kitschy, colorful stuff. So she's kind of reignited my passion to try to look for some of that and maybe offer some of that in the sales. $19.99. There was something I saw on this. Let's check this basket. Fenton, $24.99. I do like these kind of doorknobs. I haven't shown you guys yet, but my husband got me a glass doorknob, both sides glass, smiley face balls that are motion detector. When you go to open the door, they start flashing different colors. It wasn't vintage or anything, but cracked me up and he put it on the bedroom door for me. Every time I'm here, I take a peek in this little side room to see if my swan's on sale yet, but she doesn't seem to run a lot of sales. It's still back there. She doesn't run a lot of sales though. And sometimes I have paused and picked up some pretty cool jewelry from this booth. So we just went through the rock shop, which is what the owner does. Gorgeous. We're in the warehouse. Hang on. We're in the big warehouse. Can't hear the fans too bad today. They're just on low. And they've got a bunch of uranium glass. Okay. We're... Quick, quick, quick. <laughs> I want to check the jewelry lady's booth and see if she's been here. <laughs> Wait a minute. They're telling us, giving us last call. 30 minutes. I don't think she's been in, you guys. That's about what it looked like last week. Not that there's not good stuff on it, but I did look it over real well for what I thought I could get for you guys and flip and still give me a couple bucks, you know? Like that cat was $10, so that's about, you know, for you guys, it would probably sell for about, what, 10 or 12, so. Now that's cute. $12, wow. That's cute, though. I'm going to take a closer look at that as soon as I let you guys feel like you believe me. How much is that though? Six dollars? That's cute. Ignore the sharpie marks on my hands. I've been working. Okay, I don't see anything. No jewelry bags today. Well, she could have and they're all gone because her jewelry bags are kind of epic, right? 
and I take a quick peek here and see if she's added anything. Okay. Let's go check Cat's booth. Cat's kitschy corner. No, Cat's vintage kitsch. Alright, it's been years and I still can't get it right. I'll tell you when I get there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know what my problem is. Alright, Cat is still having a 40% off sale. Oh my goodness. I keep eyeballing that. That's a good one. See those names? That's a good one. And 40% off for ourselves is fair. Seriously. Let's see, 40% off, oh, as is, darn. Because that I would get for y'all. I could make a couple bucks on that. What's the as is? Uh, one of the beaks is broke. Bummer. She has a Fenton Silvercrest three horn Epern, Epernay, 130. It's not bad. That's not a bad price. And some kitsch. Oh, she always has cute kitschy stuff. Cat's kitschy vintage. Okay. I don't know why I struggle with that. It's been years and I just... $75. Oh. I could tell it was high lead crystal content for sure. Made in Austria two of them. Wow. $40 and then 40% off. Those are pretty. I sold a lion similar to that. Viking glass monk. Oh, has is a chip on the ear. Poor baby. There's a petal bowl. This one should be an Indiana glass. Yeah. Mine was a Blanco. It's, they're a little different. You count the petals and whatnot. Roly poly silver fade. Tonala. If you come here besides my booth, hopefully, be sure to visit Cat. Hey, there's a crystalline. That's pretty. Mint green, 20 and 40% off. That's not bad. Somebody should snatch that up. It's probably Treasure Craft, California. I've sold more than my fair share of treasure craft. That's a Fenton Rose. A little bit bigger than the last one I saw. 35% off. This is a Blanco, isn't it? Wait a minute. Yeah, Blanco. I could make a few bucks with her sale, but always loved that one. And this one. Okay, 40% off. Oh my gosh. Now. It's so gorgeous. It's about 9 or 10 diameter. Cat always has great stuff. Never doubt that. Is that a Mora? I think so. Yeah. Oh, surprise! <laughs> Turn you around. See what's in the centerpiece that I always love. Look at that owl. Twenty dollars. Might have supposed to have been on a base. I don't know. That's pretty. Oh, I've sold one of these. I found one a couple years ago when George was thrifting with me. Mine was red, didn't have the collar, and I sold it for $80 on eBay. And they're not really vintage or anything. They might be retro. Some people try to say Murano. You know how that is. Everything's Murano to a lot of people. Another crystalline vase. I think we've looked at this one. 
That one's um, a better name. Louise Redding, signed. That's what I thought. Polish glass. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. $38 and 40% off. This looks like modern art glass, but it's pretty. Because I buy and sell this stuff too. Some kind of empoli type optic glass, yes. Fan base, $30, 40% off. Probably somewhat modern. Okay, that was fun. Uh-oh, uh hang on. Brutalist Metal Birds Flight 150. Love it. It is very large. I don't know why I have trouble. It's been years. Why I can't remember that name. How hard is it? And yes, um, Kat did get another little booth. It's got furni mod furniture in it. It's really cool. And finish off with this gorgeous piece. Okay, bye-bye now.